This is a polysurface, right? But did you know that we can apply, scale or rotate any kind of pattern on a polysurface, B-Rep or SubD? Yes, it's possible with this amazing plugin that you probably never heard of. Watch until the end and find out about the process. Let's get started. Many of you asked us how to map curves or how to create panelization on a B-Rep. This is the moment of truth. You cannot find it on Food for Rhino, but on Chinese website rhino3d.com.cn. It's called Shape Map, developed by Shaper 3D. Once you open the website, go here and find Shape Map. On this page, you can find the download instructions and the installation guide. The plugin is free but you need to update your license every 120 days and it can be installed on two devices. Also, here you can find the videos how to use it. The only problem is all of them are in Chinese, so we try to simplify it for you. Shape Map plugin has four components. Shape Solar, which is the first step. Shape Map, second step. Data output from Shape Solver always goes into data input of the Shape Map. Then we have a third step, either map to border or map to shape. Depend on which one you will use. Keep in mind, M data output from Shape Map goes into M data input of either map to border or map to shape. First step, Shape Solver. Second step, Shape Map. Third step, either map to shape or map to border. First, we'll take either sub D or poly surface and reference it in Grasshopper with BRAP container. Next, I'm going to plug it into shape input of shape solver. If the BRAP is fine, we'll get certain information from data output. After that, I'm going to set finest number. The higher number I place, the more accurate result will be. Next, we need to add shape map component and connect data with shape solver. And we need three more inputs reference line, target line, and Boolean value for keeping the area. First, I'm going to set reference line, then let's define target line, and in the area input we should choose either the area is based on target line or it will be taken from original poly surface. I set true and you can see no matter how long is the line, the area is the same. After that, we'll take the border generated from shape map and create bounding rectangle around it. First, create bounding box, extract single surface and convert into curve. Now uh, let's create a pattern with stagger quad panels component from lunchbox plugin and set number of divisions. In the next step, we need to trim a pattern with unrolled border of B wrap generated with shape map. For that, I'm going to use region intersect. Two hours later. And once we trim the curves, we can map it back on a poly surface with map to shape component. And boom, we managed to create a curve pattern on a poly surface. Now let's see how it looks in render view. Alright, now we'll try to rotate the pattern. In order to do that, we should rotate orientation plane of bounding box. First, let's take XY plane and place it in rotate plane component. Then define the rotation angle, check degrees and plug it into bounding box. After choosing the angle, I will enable back region intersect component and while changing the angle, we can see how mapped pattern is rotating. All right, let's see how map to border works. I'm going to extract two border curves of the poly surface and reference it inside curve container. Choose both of them. Then I will take map to border and unroll the curves. In the output, we get two planar curves. Using a list item, we can create two separate outputs. In the output I is curve one, in the output plus one is curve two. These two curves I will place in the twin curves component. In the F input can be placed numbers from zero to one and define how many twin curves will be generated. For that, I will use range component. If you get a weird result, it means one of the curves needs to be flipped. In order to fill the gaps between the curves and the border, we need to extend twin curves. In the next step, I'm going to trim them and keep the curves only inside the border using trim with region component. I will take curves from CI output, join them, flatten the list and place inside map to shape because I want to place them back on the poly surface. M data will be taken from shape map. And you can see how it looks if I modify the slider that defines the number of twin curves.
In the extended version of this tutorial, you will find detailed instructions how to download and install ShapeMap plugin. Also, you will learn how to map any kind of pattern on a poly surface with multiple holes on it. All of that you can find on our Patreon page and support our work at the same time. With that, you will also get access to all our extended tutorials and product files. Thank you.